If you're a content creator who uses Epidemic Sound for your music needs for your video creation, and you also edit your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro, there is an integration that allows you to connect your Epidemic Sound directly to your Premiere Pro so that you no longer have to go over to the Epidemic Sound website, search through all of the content there, find what you want, download it, wait for iTunes or whatever music listening platform you use on your computer to automatically pop up when you download it, have to close that down, then have to go fetch that downloaded file from your downloads, add it into your video editing program, and then move it from there. Now you have the ability just to pull up a window that's attached to Adobe Premiere Pro, and you can just click the download button and drag it right in. You do not have to have all those extra steps and it's magical. It also allows you to sync it up to what you're doing to try it before you actually add it to your project for real. So let me show you how to do this. Now you will need the integration. So I will go ahead and link that down below for you. Just download that. That'll connect it to your Premiere Pro. Once you're inside of your Premiere Pro, you are going to go up to your window tab. From there, you're going to click on extension over to epidemic sound. From there, you're going to have a pop up. This pop-up is going to allow you to then go through and search what you need. So let's just say we have a sound effect and let's say I'm looking for something specific and let's say we like the forest vibes. From there, I'm just going to be able to click that download button. It's going to take just a second. And when it has that green check mark, all I have to do is now drag it down into my project. I can then move it around and edit it however I'm going to need to. This allows the program to trigger that you have in fact downloaded that sound and it's dragged right into your project. So that skips a lot of steps of leaving the program and again, bringing it back into the program once you eventually get your hands on it. Now I will say as we're doing this, what I've noticed is it's a little bit hard for me personally to expand this window. So I can expand it like this, but I can't really navigate the song. So what you see at the top for my computer screen is what you get. You can't go too far down in the list. I haven't figured out how to make it scroll down yet. I'm sure there's a way, but I haven't figured it out. And I can also access, you know, the play button, the volume button, the like button. So if there's something I like, but I don't want to use it right now, I can click on that. I can see that I have downloaded it to my sequence. I can also add it to a playlist. There's also this button you can toggle along called Timeline Sync, and that will play it along with your video. So as you're testing these things out, you can play your video and it has the ability to play it directly with your video. Now you cannot necessarily control the volume level. So one of them might be higher or lower as you're testing them out. But as soon as you decide you like it, just drag it right in and fix your volume level as you are doing it. Also, you can use the denoise button if that is something that you have for your video. So if it's a little fuzzy sounding or if there's kind of some background noise, you can use denoise on that. But it's very easy for you to go through and find this. You have your music, you have your sound effects, you have saved. You also have that little pop up for your settings, your updates, which I have an update available. You can send feedback and you can log out. So as long as you have this up, this is an independent window that is attached you can drag and drop it into your workspace so you can add it. I just don't like to. I like it as a pop up and then I can move it to wherever I need to on screen so that it's out of my way. Now, as I'm working on my videos, it's not quite like this. I have it set up so that it can film a little bit nicer for you, but I kind of have things positioned a little bit differently on my screen when I'm actually editing my videos. And this way I can just drag what I need into it and then tuck it out of the way when I am not using that window. And if I really want to remove it, like if it's really in the way, I can just click out of it, use that little X button, little red X button, and then you can pull back up from Windows extension to Epidemic sound. So this is a really easy way to save a lot of time and effort and stress when you are checking your videos and the music that you are using inside of those videos or the sound effects you're using inside of those videos. I particularly like it because it saves steps for me, but also because I can test it directly with the footage that I'm using it with to make sure it truly does fit. I don't have to have multiple windows up and trying to toggle everything on at the same time. I can just sync it very easily and allow it to do the work for me. So if you are somebody who is using Adobe Premiere Pro and Epidemic Sound, this is a really valuable integration for you to have. It may take you a minute to remember it's there. So you might actually go over to their website and try searching and then realize it could have been a little bit easier. But once you get used to it, very, very, very helpful to have that extension and that integration to make it 
so much less time consuming as you are creating your content. Follow along because I'm continuing to give you tutorials on Epidemic Sound, on Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe Premiere, or, uh, yeah, Adobe Rush. Yeah, Premiere Rush. That's correct. I have technology videos on that too to help you to save time and effort creating your social content. I teach you how to do 90% of what you're creating for TikTok and Instagram and YouTube shorts in under five minutes start to finish from conceiving the idea all the way through posting in under five minutes a day. And then we teach you how to do longer form content as well, saving time and effort and stress to make sure you have the strategies that you can implement to make this your most profitable year ever with the least amount of stress and overwhelm as you create your content. We'll see you in the upcoming episodes.